pop off our date night. We're gonna do a little ghost hunting in Cheeseman Park. That's that park where we did a video on, that's about the bodies that are still buried under this uh, city park. There's about 2,000 bodies still buried there. And we're gonna go do a little investigation tonight. Uh, we're in Denver. We just went to Sam's. We got cherry um, shakes. Look at the size of these things. Quart of ice cream between like, the two. It's like a thousand million calories. Quart of ice cream between the two. <laughs> so we're in downtown Denver. Uh, we're staying the night down here uh, because we were at the Denver Pop Culture Con today. Uh, make sure you check out that video. And we're on our way to Cheeseman Park. Um, we actually have a video already about Cheeseman Park that tells the story about how 2,000 plus bodies were left behind when they made this into a city family park. We're gonna go set up in our first place right now. Uh, we're going to bring out um, the Connect and see if we can pick somebody up. Um, but this whole area, uh, quite a big area, um, was a cemetery. The botanical gardens are, are right here. And that was the Catholic section of the cemetery. Uh, they're constantly digging up bodies still to this day. Uh, they'll put in a new rose garden or they'll plant a tree and they'll find bones or pieces of um, a decayed coffin. Um, so people were haphazardly burying their loved ones here. They would just get a shovel, pick a spot, and throw a body in the ground. Um, it wasn't like the organized cemeteries and graveyards that we have today. Um, so this was in the um, half, the later half of the 1800s. Um, and then the later part of the 1800s, they wanted it gone because all around this park are very expensive homes and there's beautiful mansions, absolutely beautiful. They're still there to today. So later on in um, the cemetery's history, uh, factions of um, burials started happening. In other words, uh, they had the Catholic section right behind me here, which is the Botanical Gardens now. Uh, the Jewish section was over here, which is the Botanical Gardens parking lot now, which they found many coffins and bodies when they, um, when they built the, uh, that parking lot. Um, but there was um, a, a Chinese section, there was all these different sections. Um, and, um, but there's just bodies everywhere on top of each other, just all over the place. And to try to find all those bodies and dig them up and move them uh, was quite a feat. And they, they think today that they left about 2,000 plus bodies. So make sure that you check out our video um, that we made about Cheeseman Park. Um, I'll put a link to it right here. I'll also have a card at the end and a link down in the description. My name's Patrick. This is my wife, Denise. We know the history of this park. Um, the history is, is that it used to be a graveyard. And uh, some very, very wealthy people decided they'd rather be uh, housing here, so they came in and they moved your bodies. We're out here in search of any spirits that might have got left behind. Or might be happy that this is a park. Or maybe upset of how the bodies were moved. Uh, we know the history, we know what took place here. The man who did it was presumably punished. And uh, we're just out here to talk to somebody. Now, Mrs. Martini's going to move around to my left because I'd swear somebody's walking up behind me. And I need to turn around because I have a camera in my hand. Keep turning. Keep turning. And put your back because I heard somebody walk up behind me. I stated that. 
Okay, we'll film this way. Okay, so uh, there was obviously no one behind me, but I, I did hear somebody walking up behind me, and it really bugged me that I couldn't turn because I was filming. Um, still nothing on the K2. Uh, Mrs. Martini's feeling uh, uh, uneasy, so we're going to move along. This kind of forested area that's on the east side of the park, and um, we were getting some weird EMF hits. But I'm feeling really, really weird. There's he wants to go over into this forested area over here, and I don't feel comfortable going over there. I just I don't know. There's something here, and it's making me feel really uneasy. And we still didn't. Did you get that? No. I couldn't get my camera to turn on. So we've been having camera problems all night, but the, the K2 was going off. Unfortunately, the camera was off, but it was pegging when I felt that there was somebody around me. I think we can find them again. I didn't have the K2 in my hand at the time. I had um, him pull it out of his pocket and hand it to me, and when he handed it to me, um, it just started really going off. I'm feeling really weird. It's really weird. The K2 keeps going off, but we don't seem to have the camera on because my camera's screwing up. I'm usually the one that films it. Is there anyone out here that got left behind? I know this used to be a graveyard. They moved the bodies. Did they forget you? Are you lost? Got a little hit. Are, are, you, you, are you lost? You can touch the end of this device if you're here. We'd like to talk to you. We'd like to help you. So are you upset? Are you upset about the way things took place here? Are you upset that this used to be a graveyard and now it's a park? We have the IR camera all set up right here, uh, the uh, Connect, which is off of um, an Xbox 360, um, and the pavilion's right there. Mr. Martini is walking out in the field with um, the voice recorder and um, an IR camera and a K2 and seeing if he can pick anything up out in the field. It is very noticeable that there's depressions all over this park. When you're walking, you kind of go up and down, up and down a little bit um, because the graves used to be there and uh, the ground, you know, where... So I'm having a lot of problems with my camera tonight. Um, it keeps shutting down. It keeps telling me that my disc is full and it really isn't. Um, I've had to reboot my camera um, many times. i just using my phone at the moment. Um, so Mr. Martini's out in the field um, because he had to leave me behind because I'm trying to get my camera going. So it's just kind of bizarre how I haven't had problems all day long um, until I got here. So it's kind of weird.
So I was taking 360 pictures. I pulled out my brand new 360 camera to take pictures here. I completely charged it before I got here and I turned it on and within seconds it told me it only had 5% battery. I was able to take one picture and then it was gone. It was like the battery totally drained. Bizarre, I say so. I don't know if it's my imagination, but I feel like when I walk on the grass that it kind of goes up and down, up and down, up and down. It's definitely like not the texture that a park should be. <laughs> yeah, parks are usually a lot smoother. It's I like mean, you step on something, it feels like it's like a circle. Yeah, like see what I mean? Yeah, see all weird. these depressions? I mean, it's just like when you walk, it just, you feel like, you're like, look, you're going up and down, up and down, just slightly. It's just not what you expect it to be. You know, you expect it to be kind of flat or just smoother. It's just, it's kind of bizarre. Good. See, I'm not crazy. <laughs> well, we haven't debunked that yet. <laughs> is considered to be really haunted and we're gonna go check it out with uh, some of our equipment which we haven't shut up bitch <laughs> so I was taking 360 pictures with my new camera I had the thing totally charged um, what's really weird is this guy He's circling and circling and circling that's like his tenth lap around this place anyways <laughs> so, <laughs> he's a ghost just circling and circling. Too bad everybody that was buried here was in the 1800s. <sighs> so, today we're on our way to Cheeseman Park, which is a family park in downtown Denver. And we're going to meet up with the paranormal group Kindred Spirits to do a little dining with the dead. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-270 East. The bone! Just kidding. Okay, go ahead. Make sure to check out the links in the description. They help support this channel. And thank you so much for coming by. You have no idea how much we appreciate it.